where they have to be, but how do you still motivate the masses? Because that's like a problem I've been seeing for the last five, six, seven years. I live in Maple Heights. Mm -hmm. Maple Heights is about to build basically brand new schools and everything. And it's the people that are like, yeah. Don't motivate cares? the masses. You can never motivate the masses. Don't start with the masses. Every movement has started with a group like this. Every movement. Every movement started out in the basement somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Somebody just chilling out. Like, you know what? We should do this. And it was like 10 people, you know what I mean? And then Eric, the majority of people are followers. That's the majority of people. That's the big difference. That's the big difference. So if you get a group like this, right here, we can choose who can be president of the United States with this group. Right here, right now, right now, we can say we want Beluga Well from North Dakota to be the next president. Right? It'll be tough. But we can make that decision right here, right now. So don't try to get the masses. Just get a small group of like-minded individuals, and they can move. Look at what Dr. King did. Small group, SCLC. Million people, man. I have a dream. Right? Right? SNCC, Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. CORE, Congress of Racial Equality. Right? And you continue to go on and on from brothers and sisters, from Latino brothers and sisters, man, from all different races and ethnicities. It was always a small group of people. Look at what Gandhi did. Gandhi changed the world, man. That's all we talk about Gandhi. Powerful man. He changed the world. You know, went on a hunger strike. He was initially a lawyer. People don't know that. Initially, he was a lawyer, Gandhi. He gave that thing up, man. And you see him, you think, like, man, this is the poorest guy in the world. One story I remember, it was like a deep story of Gandhi. And I don't remember like I was there, but I, I, I read it. And what happened was Gandhi was running for a train. And he was running. And one of his slippers fell off. One of his slippers fell off. So instead of going back and getting it, he took one off and he threw it back. And he kept running for the train. And they asked him, well, why did you why did you do that? He said, because whoever found that one, I wanted to have the match. This is the type of minds, man, that change worlds. You feel me? He said, because I wanted them to have a match. I didn't want to go back and get it and bring it back. That joke almost brought tears to my eyes, man. That a person can be that so selfless, right? Not selfish, but so selfless that he want the person not to have one slipper. So, what I'm saying is that this model that he gave to us of be the change you want to see is deep. That you're not waiting, right? You're an example. Look at what happened in New Orleans with Hurricane Katrina, right? People waiting. You know, ain't nobody coming for you. Ain't nobody coming for you. What you waiting for? You, you the you the change you've been looking for. You know what I'm saying? And that, and that energy, that joint motivates me. That I, what I'm waiting for? Who I'm waiting to come? Man, I'm about to do this, man, right now. Y'all with me? Y'all with me? Y'all not? But hey, it's crazy because I did a community cleanup over here before this library was here. And my first community cleanup I did on a radio station. Now, I speak to a million, a million people, man. A week, on my two shows, I speak to two million people. I did a community cleanup. Come out, play with me. Let's clean up the community. You know how many people showed up? 20 people, man. 20. If I discouraged? No, I'm like, good. I'm about to get these blessings, man. I'm about to clean up this community. I'm not waiting on nobody. I'm about to just do this because time is something that we can't ever get back. And sooner or later, soon, very soon, brother. Very soon. I'm not saying like tomorrow or like later on the day, but God knows best. Man, I'm going to be gone. I'm going to be dead. But I'm going to still be alive in the hearts of some because I inspire them. I motivated them. I can still live in them. So you said small group. Like, small, small. It starts with a small group.